Hi guys, uh, this is FIFA Vic, and this is a pack opening. Um, it's Team of the Year time. Uh, the defenders are out: uh, Casillas, Ramos, Vidic, um, and the like. So we will open a pack. This is the first pack, a gold premium pack. Uh, I'll open a 50k player pack at the end as well. Um, nothing too flash in this one. Uh, nothing of any great value. The silver centre back's only got 32 pace, so I can't imagine he's of much value. Um, I'll uh, I'll just divvy these up. I'll get a bit quicker with this as it goes along. I haven't opened packs for a bit. Team of the Year is always a good reason to open packs. Um, one thing that's I think is a bit rubbish this year is the happy hour thing. This is sort of a bit of a happy hour. This year they just give you they just give you like an extra, a different type of pack or something. This year, I'm sure last year you had double the chance in happy hour of getting a decent player. Um, so that's a bit annoying. I don't know how everyone else feels about that. I don't think it's anywhere near as good as last year. But so let me know in your comments what you think. Uh, in this pack, we got uh, Czech Tyrotti from Newcastle, who's having a blinder this season. He's looking awesome. Um, nothing else of massive note except for this coin pack. We've got a 4,000 coin um, activation thing. So that's pretty good. That's sort of equivalent to getting a really good player, really. It's like getting a, ne a nene in a bad formation or something like that. That's pretty good. That's not too bad. Um, let's get to another one. You know when Canute flashes up that it's not going to be a dream pack. Um, Freddie Canute, formerly of Spurs. Um, he was in one of my teams. This is the Scottish uh, Rangers goalkeeper. He'll go for a couple of grand. Um... I've got the Man United home kit in there, that's probably worth a little bit as well. Probably get a grand for that. Um, people buy pace, don't they? People buy pace cards, I don't. Um, all the rubbish cards I don't even bother putting on people these days, I just discard them for 100 coins. They're not necessary, I'm not even sure they do anything to be honest with you. Um, so that was that pack. So not a terrible pack, but not an amazing pack. Pizarro, who I haven't used this year, but I've been told is a beast this year. I've been told he's a dream finisher. Uh, finesse trait and things like that, I think I've heard. Uh, Benucci, our old friend from Road to Glory Season 1. Uh, and loads of contracts and things. Fitness. That's not a great pack, but Pizarro, I've been told, is a very good player this year, so he's probably worth 3k. Um, we'll get all these moved away. No real room for them, to be honest. Um, I'll, I'll say I'm so, I do like to build my club items up a little bit, so if anything that I don't think will sell that's a club item, I do like to keep. Let's get another pack going. I think that said Drombie. And as you can see, we've got the Drombie. There's nothing, is he really? Um, but we've got the Real Madrid away kit. That's probably worth something to someone. Um, all the all the players that we love to play in single UT games always seem to have Real Madrid badges, Man United kits, and Bayern Munich badges and kits. So. They obviously do sell. Uh, the Barcelona B badge, I think that's going to be as well. That was probably worth something to someone as well. For the same reasons. So, trade items. Our trade items and our consumables are getting quite full now. So I'm just having to discard a few things. Which is fine. So we'll get one more of these and buy who looks a very solid 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 league one defender. 
We'll store all these players in the club now, I guess. Um, yeah, the Heal looks a very good defender. He'll be worth something. Uh, Chelsea away kit probably worth something. Uh, but no, no great joy in any of these packs, to be honest. Um, at least I'm guaranteed some rare players in the 50k pack. So we get one more of these. Um, what have we got here? Nothing amazing. The German silver centre back has got relatively good pace for a silver. Two healing cards. Uh, and uh, Osvaldo uh, from Roma. Uh, again, no great shakes, not a great pack. By any means, imagination. Stay tuned for the 50k pack, though, guys. Uh, I'm going to have to have a shuffle about here. Get rid of all them. Highest value of things so far has probably been that 4,000 coin thing. So, <laughs> so not going brilliant, but there you go. Sian. Uh, uh, Austin, Jamaican centre mid. He looks okay. Could see someone doing something with that. Um, this is just a bit of a random pack opening, guys. If you've stumbled across this video, please check out my Road to Glory. Uh, it's the main thing I do on my channel at the moment. Um, I'm starting a new series later this week as well. And I'm going to publish two videos a day. One from one series, one from the other. So p please check me out properly if that, if that doesn't sound too creepy. The goalkeeper kicking boost card, is that of any value to anyone in the world ever? I mean, is there certain games where you want your goalie to kick it further? I don't know, I always throw it out. I don't know. <sighs> so just <laughs> get rid of these ones as well. And let's do it. Rare player pack, 50,000 coins worth. Is it going to be anywhere near worth it? Ooh, what was that that flashed up? It must have been Kaka. 85, centre attacking mid for Real Madrid. A ledge. Uh, uh, off the top of my head, he might be worth 25k. Also got a Friedel. Bodmer. Uh, who we got? Oh, De Gea. Um... Who is this 88 pace player? I'm just waiting until we get to there. Uh, Fernandinho. Uh, De Gea. Martinez. He must be worth something. 90 pace striker. 75 striker with 90 pace. And a Brazilian striker. So that wraps it up, guys. Cheers.